Welcome to All Things Woman, the mall edition. As you see, I stay at the mall. Various malls all over the state of Pennsylvania. Right now, I'm sitting here eating some Hagen dolls and I'm laughing at my daughter because she's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but I hope you all are having a lovely day and I'm just here to say when things feel out of balance, when you feel like you need a break, don't be afraid to stop and do things that make you feel good. For me, going to work was not in the cards. I don't really feel the best. I keep it together. I look the way I look, but I really don't feel the best. And what made me feel better is knowing that I'm coming out to enjoy my day, spending time with my family, and then later on this evening when my husband gets off work, we're going to go for a nice drive throughout the city. That is going to make me feel very great. So when you feel like your life is a little bit out of balance or you feel like you're not quite sure if you're doing the right thing, stop. That's really what we need to do. Stop. I know when you are more so in that masculine way of being as a woman, and when you're in not just masculine, but when you're being anxious, when you're worried, when you're trying to make something out of nothing, when you're trying to accomplish so much, you can easily get overwhelmed with life and start looking at life as if it's just a drag. And you really don't want to do that. So take time to just stop and think about how you feel because like I've said before while we don't go by our feelings we don't live our life completely based off of how we feel um, our feelings are there to let us know when we need to course correct or change some different things so as feminine women we have to just be mindful of how we feel and do things that are going to help us to you know move forward in life and sometimes in order to move forward you actually have to stop and stand still and get you some ice cream and just take a moment to breathe. Um, I know for myself, you know, I have this YouTube channel in addition to what I do for work and my small business. And I'll be honest with you, I am super excited about this community. I'm super excited about this YouTube channel, but it's work and it is pulling me in different directions that I'm not accustomed to going. And on the other side of discomfort and unassuredness if that's a word I know there's great reward on the other side so that's why I keep going but there's moments where I get very anxious and then things I want to do with my children and all of that and then trying to move you know trying to move out the city so I say it all that to say that as women you know we juggle a lot of different things and just naturally you know a lot of us are more ambitious and we want to accomplish things in life we're trying to level up and there's nothing wrong with that but you have to have balance. You have to still enjoy the moment and not be so focused on the future, so focused on elevation, so focused on what you have to do. You still have to be able to enjoy the moment. And when you get to a point where you can't really enjoy the moment and everything is like just about whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, that's when life can kind of turn into a drag. That's when life can be like you're just trying to get through it. And you never want to get to a point where you're just trying to get through life or you're just trying to endure life. You want to actually enjoy your life, not just survive it. So take time to stop, you know. And the beautiful part about being a woman and being in your femininity is that you don't feel like you have to be doing so much all the time. You don't feel like you have to constantly be proving yourself to somebody by showing how exhausted and stressed out and worn out you can get yourself in order to prove that you are a worthy woman, that you're a woman that has her stuff together. Knowing how to rest and sit down when you feel that you are getting overwhelmed, that is strength. Um, it's a prideful thing when you think that you are so strong that you don't need to sit down. That's when a lot of women get into these different medical ailments. They start having these different health issues, you know, developing fibroids and all these different things because you're going for so long that you overlook the signs that your body is giving you. You know, I know for me during that time of the month, and there should be only women on this page, but during that time of the month, you know, I don't have just PMS. I deal with PMDD too, which is very painful. And it gives you, you know, it's like cramps times 10. So when you're going through that, you have to take time to stop and rest. And if you have a job that requires you to be on your feet for seven, eight hours a day, if you're dealing with that kind of ailment, you just can't do it, not comfortably. And the old, you know, masculine version of myself or, you know, other women who might have that kind of employment, you just power through. I'm going to pump myself full of Tylenol and I'm going to do what I got to do. 
Well, I no longer operate that way. When my body tells me to sit down, I sit down. The only time I force myself to do what I need to do is if it's something that is pertaining to my children that is absolutely necessary in the moment. But even if it's not something that's actually absolutely detrimental to them in the moment or it's not an emergency, I'm sitting down. Because if you wear yourself down to the point that you're not able to level up, you're not able to focus on your health and your fitness and all of that because you're mentally drained, you're exhausted, that's no way to live. And when you lean into your femininity, you start valuing your body, valuing your time, valuing your interpersonal relationships a lot more than you value just money. Not to say that we don't need it, we don't want it, because we're trying to do things, we're trying to level up. But leveling up does not mean that you're going for world domination, like you're God. And that's when your faith comes in place. Um, I had to remind myself, like, okay, you're a follower of Jesus. Like, you know God, you love God, and you know that he's never let you down. God can't let you down. He's incapable of doing that. But you know God always has your back. So because of that, if you say you really have faith and trust in God, you won't move as if you can't take a moment to breathe. And that's like a little talk that I had to have with myself. And I believe God was like reassuring me that, look, you don't have to constantly be going, going, going. And it's not just a physical going, going, going. It can be your mental too, how you're thinking. You could be sitting still, but your mind is all over the place thinking about your next move. And if you're a businesswoman or you're an aspiring entrepreneur or a woman that wants to have her own business, you understand what I'm saying. Like your mind can literally be shifted into 50 different places while you're sitting still. So that's another thing. Mentally, you really have to take control of your thoughts and not allow those things to run amok. Because even that, you can get mentally exhausted from just thinking too much, worrying too much about what you want to do. Forgive me if the camera's a little shaky, but I'm holding it in my hand. But I do hope that you're getting the message that I'm putting forth to you. So as feminine women, just don't be afraid to just sit down, relax, get you some nice ice cream if you need to and enjoy your life enjoy the moment you only have one life and while we do plan for the future you can't spend all of your time trying to plan for the future because tomorrow is not promised i know that might sound you know drab but your life can stop at any moment <laughs> and if you spend all of your time worrying about getting to the future that's no way to live so we just have to learn how to be in the moment Enjoy those moments, enjoy your family, enjoy whatever it is that you have, enjoy your home. If you have a little one bedroom apartment, a studio apartment, make sure you deck that thing out. Enjoy your time, enjoy your space. Whatever you have before you, learn how to enjoy it and listen to your body, all right? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this until the very end, which you absolutely should have, Hit the high hill emoji and put it in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.